So in the Gospel this weekend, we hear of a woman who had been suffering from a loss of blood for many years. And she had spent all of her resources trying to find a solution to this. She had seen many doctors, but instead of getting better, she only got worse. She had heard of Jesus, and when the opportunity came for her to see him, she resolved that if she could only touch his garment, touch his cloak, that she would be healed. The difficulty was, was a crowd had gathered around Jesus and there was a commotion. It wasn't easy for her to approach. Nonetheless, she did approach and she touched the cloak. And when she touched the cloak, immediately she felt something within her change. She felt her health was restored and the bleeding stopped. There's two things that strike me about this story. The first thing is the image of the woman. The woman who, who had spent all of her resources, she was worn out, and yet she was still searching, she was still hoping. It took her great courage to reach out for help. I think of the many people who, who search for healing in their life. I think of the people who have a difficult, difficult time finding that. And sometimes it's even hard to approach Jesus because of the crowd, because of the commotion because of the noise, because of the distractions, maybe even because of the fear. But this woman was a woman of great courage because she reached out nonetheless, and it was in that very act of reaching out, of touching the cloak. Some of the versions of the story speak of touching the fringe of the cloak, the hem of the cloak. That was a turning point for the woman. The second image that speaks to me in the story is the image of the cloak itself. We know that Jesus was the one who healed. We know that, as Jesus said, it was the woman's faith that made her well. But it was the cloak that allowed for that interaction to take place. It was the cloak that was just close enough to Jesus and just close enough to the woman to provide a point of connection between the two. And so I like to think of the cloak as an image of, of all Christians. We are the cloak of the Lord. We are the, the outer garment, the fringe of the Lord in our relationships with other people, in our conversations that we have with them, in the concern that we share for them. Sometimes we just never know, we just never know how the Lord will use us to be that point of connection, to be that source of healing for others. And so this gospel story points me in two directions, it makes me think of two things, the woman and the cloak, the courage to reach out and the courage to be the fringe, to be the hem of the garment, to be the fringe for other people who may find themselves on the fringes of life.